welcome to Gemstone Tarot. This is your daily reading from Monday the 9th of September 2019. Look who's in a different spot. Valley Bobs has settled in a different spot. Hopefully that will be going back to her new old spot, if that makes sense. Is it squeaky? Yes, she heard her name. Did you see her ears just twitch? Okay, we are using Tarot of the 78 Doors and Locks and Keys and Chains and Passageways and all kinds of other stuff. Oh, it's you, isn't it? Oh my God. Okay, what? Mm, yes. So I go, oh, it's you, isn't it? Fish in the pack and pull out the devil. That's nice. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Tarot of the 78 Doors. Wow, says, yep, it is you. Interesting energies. Do you have a look at your monthly reading for your astrological sign? Because this kind of reminds me of some of those. battle of wills that's nice it's a battle of wills in whichever way that crops up in your life whether it's to do with love or whether it's to do with work or whether it's to do with life wow okay we'll have you overall energy the hermit so where's the door the door ain't no doors in the outback is there but anywho the hermit here in his sackcloth and all that kind of ascetic jazz is warding off the sort of fairy godmother with a basket of fruit the cornucopia the temptation the temptation of fruit i don't find fruit all that tempting in the same way that I find other foodstuffs tempting but anywho he's in a kind of arid desert environment which he's chosen to be in we're in Virgo season this does represent Virgo not that Virgos just particularly want to go and live in arid environments but it is about jam tomorrow okay jam bananas whatever tomorrow it is about temptation now, if we've got the word temptation and I've pulled the devil, not only did I pull the devil, I went in and got him <laughs> and yanked him out of the pack. <laughs> Great. Um, Capricorn energy, devil energy, the feeling of... It feels like a draw. It feels like being pulled towards something and... For some of you, it's backwards because I've got the Six of Cups. Again, we've got two cards there. If you look at the Devil, there's no particular doorway there. I think the doorway is this um, pentacle, isn't it? Possibly that's an inverted pentacle. I know that most Devil cards in the Major Arcana will have an inverted pentacle. I think. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm just counting the sides. You never know, do you? got the six of cups again the door is the doorway the book i know tarot of the 78 doors but there's not doors on many of them which is why i really like it i know six of cups childhood sweetheart karmic um longing backwards retrograde looking backwards that's my looking backwards mime it feels backwardsy and it feels like that temptation is the backwards thing. You can't go back, I suppose, but you might really, really want to. Really, really want to. Five of cups in reverse. There's the door, but the door's on fire. Five of cups is a card of past sorrows. Sometimes, I don't know why, 
we are tempted to visit past sorrows, some of us more than others. Um, some of us have managed to kind of manage this side of ourselves and some of us haven't. And also just some energies, some days, you know, you get a smell of something, there's a nip in the air or whatever it is, or a particular, I don't know, piece of pavement or picture or thing on YouTube or thing on the telly makes you feel transported back. Now the energy of back is quite addictive with the devil, it's a temptation energy. In the middle of the reading we've got the King of Swords. How austere is that King of Swords? I mean that is so austere isn't it? It's just really kind of, again like with the um, Hermit card we've got this arid landscape. This is like an urban arid landscape of grey and steel and officialdom and offices. For some of you this could be some kind of issue to do with work or rank because I also have the King of Wands in reverse. And he's in Stonehenge <laughs> in the stone circle and I'm guessing that's the doorway. How weird. There's lots of doorways if you look at them. Kind of freestyle doorways. Not much hinging going on. I do love a hinge. I think the hinge is one of the most fascinating poetic inventions, but that's another day. Okay. We also have, and that is interesting, the Queen of Wands in the reverse. So we have the King and the Queen of Wands. But if you look at this, what's she carrying? Big old basket of fruit. Fruit is featuring heavily. <laughs> I know, who'd have thought? Like I always say though, you know, if you want to step back into any kind of mythological tale, women clutching fruit is never a good sign. It doesn't tend to end well. Whether they're kind of cupping an apple, as it were, or gripping onto a whole cornucopia of bananas and peaches and oranges, you know, it's temptation. It's it's generally not, it's a bit wrong diddly ong, isn't it? And it doesn't end well. Okay. Ace of Swords. I think we're going to need the Ace of Swords, which cuts through this absolute maze of memory and background and retroness. I'm not even sure if it's worth saying try not to get drawn back into this because, yeah, of course. And there she is. I'm going to take two. I'm going to take three. You'll see why in a minute. Brian and Wendy Freed, heart of the, oh yes, of course, fairy oracle. What else would we get? What else would we get on a day like this but remembrance? This is looking back and for me it's a real kind of, it looks like this is an old photograph, you know, like a shaded old black and white photograph. The remembrance of somebody. How interesting. The challenge. The challenge is to get past this. And I, I'm not saying that I know how. And then we have the Queen of the Golden Bough. And I think those of you that watch the channel really regularly will know that although I know the heart of the Fairy Oracle really, really well, the Queen of the Golden Bough never, ever sticks in my memory. I'm going to get the book. It refuses. It's the number one card. It's kind of like the money shot card and it will not stay in my head. And there will be a good reason for that. Support, soul healing and equilibrium. The healing of sorrow. Healing on a very ancient and fundamental level. Your need to heal and change may be so deeply embedded in your psyche you might not even know it's there. When you feel an overwhelming sadness that takes you by surprise and a sadness that seems to spring from the depths of your soul, devil card, hermit. The hermit separates himself from bananas and oranges and fruit and temptation in order to feel those things and in order to meditate on them. Meditating on this card can help rebalance emotions. It may be time to let go of emotions that are stopping you from healing 
Emotions that have a more tangible cause but still overwhelm you at surprising times. Take a long look at how these emotions made you feel in the past. How you are feeling at this moment, that's the Hermit card, and then let the card do its transformational work to lead you into the future, the Queen of the Golden Bow. How fascinating is that? Fascinating Valentine. Fascinating. Okay. Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. Lovely, lovely cards. Oh, that's really nice. The Lady of the Gift. I personally have never seen this card before. You know this pack is weird. I'm sure it generates cards. I definitely haven't. Generosity, receiving and withholding. Getting into some kind of receiving state. Easier said than done when you're caught back in the remembrance. Keeper of the scales. It's a kind of Libran energy. We do have a Libran new moon on the 28th. Fairness and balance. Balancing the past with the present and the future. Lady of the mirror, reflection and non-judgment. That is kind of the middle ground. Letting these feelings, letting, and I'm getting the word hauntings, letting these hauntings just be reflections on the water rather than feeling that you need to actually do something about them. I guess it's that whole thing of observing your thoughts rather than acting or reacting to them. That card wanted to come out. Meditation. Yeah. The hermit. Not going near big baskets of fruit. The big basket of fruit is the remembrance, okay? I hope that's not gonna be the title. Do leave me a comment, do subscribe to the channel, check out your monthly reading and I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.